Hello everyone, welcome back to Super Jerry 27's Nerd Cave of Comic Goodness, that fun ton twister. Um, today I'm talking about future CGC signings and what books I'm sending to see, you know, maybe get some feedback, maybe I should try a different book or look for a different book before they hit because I have to start saving way in advance. So the first one, um, Adam Kubert, uh, son of Joe Kubert, obviously, is his deadline is May 20th. So, coming up, and I have decided to send Action Comics 844, his first work on Superman with Richard Donner and Jeff Johns from like, oh, six. Oh my God, this is almost 20 years old. And this gorgeous piece that I forgot I had two of. I'm trying to get the hologram. But Wolverine 75 from way back in the day. Do I got a... No, I just got a November. But uh, this book is pristine. I have two, like I said, and I almost sent in another one, which I found first because I had them separated. Um, it had a little kink in the spine, which they always seem to get me on. This one is perfection. So this obviously isn't the one I read, but it's the one I'm going to send. Unless I get another comment. I do have Wolverine 100, which has a really weird hologram on it, but doesn't look as sick as this. And that's it. And I've also got the Wolverine Origin 2. And other Superman, or action comics by Kubert. But these are the two that stuck out to me. The next signing is Jock, Batman famous artist Jock. Uh, his deadline is June 3rd. So I went and hunted down this beauty. Batman Who Last number 1. Uh, Greg Capello variant because Capello and Snyder have to be doing another signing soon. So hopefully I can get this in back to me, and then by the time the Capello and Snyder one do it, I can get all three of them on there, and that would be a nice piece. Uh, you know, it's a little graphic cover, but I like it. A lot of, lot of space to sign in silver, you know, or whatever color they want to. Definitely not black. Sorry, my allergies are wicked bad today. Uh, it sucks, and I can't take any medication because I'll just pass out. Um, and hopefully you don't hear the fan in the background because it's also warm and I'm a cheap ass. I don't feel like turning my air on yet. It's only April 30th. So the next person coming is Dennis Cohen, uh, June 24th. And I have the, the current hardware series he's working on. And I also have Batman Lovers and Mad Men that he did for Batman Confidential. But I only have one copy of each, so that makes me iffy. So I was digging around. I remember he had a lot to do with Milestone and Worlds Collide. So I hunted down this. I have three of them. I got them at San Diego Comic-Con in 1994. Mom, Dad, and myself got one. Um, I was told there are none of these in the Signature Series as of yet at all. Um, and what I think is neat about this is I was flipping through it to make sure he actually did something in the book. He penciled page 27. And that's it. So page 27 is my lucky or favorite number because my favorite superhero, Batman... Obviously, his first appearance was Detective Comics 27, so I hold a lot of value to the number 27, um, which kind of sucks because that's like the 27 Club with all the people killing themselves or dying, Satan and all that shit, but I like it because of Batman and none of the other crap. So this is going. And then finally, comic legend Roy Thomas is, is coming on July 22nd. That's the cutoff date. So I'm digging around. I don't have a lot of Roy Thomas stuff, which I'm surprised at. But then I'm not because uh, I started collecting in 88, so and it was mostly DC. But I was Googling, and I found out that he did a new story for X-Men Gold. You can tell this is in a Golden Age one, so I don't hurt it more. Because this does have a little ding. Um, I have two of them. This is the best can shape. Let's see if I can get it here. Probably not, but see the little, because it's a fatty book, it's got the little ding on the corner there. So this is, i, I got to go back and redo what I think they're going to be. This is probably going to be 9.6 or 9.4, but I really just want Roy Thomas' signature. This is coming back in 9.8, never been read. It is in pristine shape. This should come back as a 9.8, but there's a lot of black on it. So, 9.8, 9.6. Definitely a 9.8. Hopefully 9.9, maybe. Like, because sometimes this the... The harder stock books come back at nine nines. Like this one here, I bought the day it came out, uh, November 
from my local comic book shop, put it away, came back a 9.8. No pressing, no anything. So, stay. That's what I think about that one. And then finally, Superman should come out 9.8, I'm not going to press it this time because I have a feeling Jeff Johns is going to be doing a signing very soon for them because Flashpoint's going to hit. So hopefully he'll do a signing and I'll have this back and I can send this puppy out along with, geez, Rebirth or Infinite Crisis, Blackest Night, JSA Confidential, you know, something. But yeah, these are the next signings for the next three months. Hopefully they don't add any more because I enjoy, you know, actually having money. <laughs> Um, but yeah, what do you think? Would you send a different book? Uh, what books are you possibly going to send? You know, let me know. Do you like doing this? I kind of like the signing thing because I don't get to go as many sign or not signings conventions anymore. Um, they're I, well, probably if I save the money that I'm getting here doing here, I could go to a convention. But this is a lot of fun because when you send a book in, you don't know what's going to come at. Like I didn't expect that to be a nine eight because there's a lot of black on it, but it did, and I'm thrilled. And when Jim Lee does a signing, that's going. But. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon in another video. Hello, this is an update to my CGC submissions video that I'm tacking on at the end. Uh, unfortunately, I've had to not be able to do two of them. I uh, can't do the jock signing, and I'm not going to be able to send in books to the Dennis Cohen signing as well. Just money issues and all that happy horse shit. Still doing the Roy Thomas, and then... From me making that video and then almost publishing it, they announced Jim Lee, Scott Williams, and Alex Sinclair are doing a signing. So obviously, I'm going to be sending my 9.8 Frank Miller cover signed All-Star Batman and Robin to get the entire creative team on it. And I'm sending this one probably by itself in a CGC box I already have, and I'm going to have it pressed as well to make sure it holds on to that 9.8. This is the big one. And then I'm just having a hard time deciding what other books to send Mr. Jim Lee because he's been in the industry for so long. I did want to send Justice League number one from the New 52, but unfortunately one of them has a ding in the corner and the other one has a ding in the top corner. I think the one in the, the front corner, it's not color breaking and can be pressed out, but I don't want to take that chance. So instead I have to decide with, from these. Um, All-Star Batman Robin number one Jim Lee cover. Also, uh, Robin cover or Batman cover. I have three copies of this cover. I don't know why, but I picked this up because this is a sick cover to display. And then I definitely, this is a definite send, I think, the first part of Hush, but only because I have the first part of For Tomorrow as well to go along with it. These getting signed and being displayed like bookends would be gorgeous and just really neat. I also have this beautiful Superman 205 cover with Michael Turner. And this, just Superman being a badass. Like, this is Superman. Badassery, you know? Then, of course, we've got Jim Lee's X-Men stuff. I have a bunch of X-Men books already signed by him because I was lucky enough to have been a customer at Flying Colors in California when this, this copy of X-Men number one came out. So I have... Multiple copies of this signed by him and Chris Claremont, but I want one, you know, for a slab. So when I was about 10, 15 years ago, I was like, I'm going to do come my own comic book store. So I bought a lot of 10 of these off, and I'm just picking through it to find the absolute best one. But all of them have a kind of rounded left corner. So I got to really dig through them. I'll probably, get, I'll probably get all these pressed just because I don't know if Claremont's going to do another signing. But I'd like to have him on it too eventually. Oh, this one actually looks to be the best. Nope. Yeah, but so yeah, I have six copies I can pick from, which is kind of neat. But yeah, that's the update. Had to drop two, but gained one. But when Jim Lee signs, like he's due July 24th, I'll be a little bit better off in life. The car will be paid off. <laughs> and some other things will be going on. So I'll have the funds to send more than just a book, which is pretty sick. Uh, but yeah, what are you sending? Um, are there any creators you want to have? Come to CGC. Oddly enough, I was talking to Mr. Terry Dodson on Instagram, and he says he has stuff lined up, so that makes me excited because I've got Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn. Yeah, definitely those. Those I'm sure I can find more. Uh, but, yeah, that's my update, and I'll probably publish this video soon now so that I don't, like, 
There's no fuckery. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, dislike, share, whatever you want to do. Bye.